we start with a, a log or a tree and out of that tree comes different sorts of logs and then even out of that log comes a, a range of products all of which we have to sell and optimise the value of. We're wanting to get our people to understand the basic economics of the business. We wanted a programme that could get people understanding what our KPIs are and why they're important to the business and then in turn we hope to get out of that what they can do to help us. I remember an early conversation I had had with the sawmill manager who said to me, you know, 20 years ago when he had joined the industry, all you needed were big muscles and a work ethic to stay on the job for a day and that's all the skill level you needed. The reason we engaged pretty quickly with Dave was because he had a genuine interest in what we were trying to achieve. He quickly wanted to understand what we were trying to do and he quickly started learning the business. I could see in conversations with uh, Phil and other people about the plant and just in fact what the company was trying to achieve that you really needed much higher levels of literacy and numeracy understanding. Initially Dave spent three to four weeks getting to know us, getting to know the people, getting to know the business and rapidly building up materials he needed for the program. There were some quite complex concepts involved that Phil was wanting people to understand in order to modify what they did in the plant and that there was maybe the assumption inherent in all of that people understood statistics, people understood uh, the underlying mathematics of a lot of processes as well as perhaps the managers did. I certainly could see at that point that you know there was a need for a fairly carefully structured and designed training program to fill that need. When we looked at our business we said well what are the things we need to measure? Went right back to the basics but they're linked closely to the KPIs. We can't measure our KPIs without measuring what makes the business tick and for us it was lineal metres, cubic metres, lineal feet, board feet. So as part of the program people learnt to calculate lineal metres to cubic metres and cubic metres back to lineal metres. We did practice some of those um, things that they would do in the plant but we put dollar value to it and that was a big turning point to get them to calculate what the sum was that they were doing in the workplace and then put some dollars to it. It was a big change and they could soon see that the dollars were significant a minute of time for us is a hundred dollars. A shift is a hundred thousand dollars. So they were they were kind of blown away by that. I think uh, for a program like this to succeed, the KPIs in a sense were the the compass. They guided the direction that I took. But as an educator. I have to take on board where people are coming from, I have to take on their background, I have to take on their prior learning, uh, and of course I have to then start off relating learning experiences to them personally, to their everyday lives outside of the company, and then gradually moving uh, into the co company context. We'd had a scattergun approach to training, and really we felt that we weren't getting any value on the bottom line of the business. It was frustrating. So through the literacy and numeracy training, we could see the skills lifting and looking at sustainability, we wanted a program that we could glue that together. We decided competitive manufacturing or lean manufacturing was the way to go because it really adds value to the bottom line. It is really based around KPIs of the business where we've been driving the literacy numeracy program. So we started lean manufacturing in the last third of the branching out program and we found that people picked that up pretty quick. Improvements we made to, to stop movement, uh, things such as putting tools close to the where they should be or a saw if you need to change a saw where it should be near the workstation, tools on shadow boards, standard operating procedures. We've used a lot of photos so that if people aren't sure they can soon look at the pictures and the words and, and get an understanding of what they should be doing. You've had 60 minutes, okay, you lost 60 minutes. 
Would it, whatever reason? I think beforehand they would meet uh, statistics at, at staff briefings at the start of every shift, at the weekly staff meeting that Phil conducts, and the statistics were in their face everywhere about the plant. But as branching out progressed, I think people began to engage in those statistics more. I certainly noticed in the training room a lot more conversation between people about production figures and the like. A big part of the Literacy and Numeracy Branching Out program was the statistics, reading graphs, understanding information, and be able to offer critical reasoning to the team. As the competitive or lean manufacturing process came in in the last third of the branching out program, of course the understanding of statistics became very important for everyone, not just the branching out trainees. And I think possibly in a way many of the branching out people felt empowered. They had a, something of an advantage that, well yes, they, they do understand the trend on this graph they're seeing. They do understand that this is an atypical example, an atypical piece of data and that not too much credence should be given to it. And I think that was good for them. What became evident as we got halfway through the program Productivity was definitely improving. Utilisation, uptime, all the key performance stuff was actually on the rise. When we calculated that in dollars, in the time that we were operating, we were getting close to $500,000 annualised improvement on where we'd been. And that's considering we'd had lots of changes, new products and a difficult environment. So we thought that was pretty good. The other thing is, because we'd started lean, we'd started what they call opportunities for improvement. And by the end of branching out and the first quarter of lean, we had about 200 OFIs, as we call them, and about $265,000 annualised of improvement had been brought forward from the team. So it's pretty good stuff. The big difference is, that people need the core literacy and numeracy skills to understand what's going on in the business. We made sure that we held on to this KPI focus and always brought ourselves back to it. Even if Dave was using personal life examples, we always came back to the KPI elements as a test of whether we're on track. Essentially, more minds on any issue, and any, any issue at all, will get you a better result and so and the smarter those minds are the better. It starts with keeping the floor clean so you know that, that little bit of production is continuous and understanding recovery and understanding about uptime and the things that can improve those things. So they all, it all starts at the ground and, uh, and even with our big problems the guys on the floor can have great input into, uh, into how we solve those as well. So and the smarter they are the better. Suddenly there's a step change. Suddenly you've got momentum, suddenly you've got understanding buy-in happiness and morale. People are actually able to contribute to the bottom line rather than coming and going through the motions and going home.